Do you know you can get a paid internship at Harvard or at any of your dream university without being a student there? In this video, I will tell you the story of what I did to land a paid internship as an undergraduate research assistant at Harvard University. At the end of this video, I will provide some simple step-by-step -step recommendations that could help you prepare for getting a research opportunity at any university. As I recount the story, I will be sharing the names of the people I encounter along the way to protect their privacy. Anyway, let's dive in. When I was working on my first open source project in summer of 2013, I connected with Ben, who went to my university for undergrad and graduated a few years before me. As we share similar interests in innovation and entrepreneurship, I will occasionally message him to ask for his thoughts on other projects I was working on. He had practical experience running a successful business and was already working on cutting-edge 3D printing research at Harvard University at the time. At the end of 2013, after I reached out to him to get some advice on a nonprofit organization I was working on with another friend from college, he asked me if I was still interested in 3D printing research. He was looking to hire a few students for the summer and wanted to give the opportunity to students from my university. I mean, I told him that I was definitely interested, so I prepared my resume and I sent it to him. A few weeks later, I learned that he was not able to secure enough funding from his research group to hire me for the summer. So I told him that I would be open for an on-pay internship if that helps because I thought that the experience itself would be invaluable. After all, this kind of opportunity doesn't always come easily. Since I was an international student on an F1 visa, there were even less funding opportunities for me. But he said to give him some time to try to find other sources of funding so that I could get this paid internship. This dragged on for a month or two and I was already losing hope. During the winter, I got an internship offer from an auto parts manufacturer to work on their infotainment system. It wasn't as exciting as getting an internship at Harvard, but as an international student, just getting any kind of internship as a second year student was already an achievement in itself. I messaged Ben for an update since I needed to make a decision soon. A few days later, he came back with good news. He managed to get me into an undergraduate research program that Harvard offers to non-Harvard students. So in the end, I ended up getting a paid internship at Harvard and that was mainly thanks to the first open source project that I work on that connected me to him in the first place. Now, you might think that this is all thanks to me being lucky, being at the right place at the right time. And I think this is partially true, but the reason why is because I believe luck can be created. See, the more you work and prepare for a situation or a goal, the luckier you become. Let me summarize the story. Ben was a PhD candidate working on 3D printing research and they were hacking an open source 3D printer to do something innovative. I didn't know this in the first place. The previous summer, I decided to build my own 3D printer by following extensive tutorial from the open source project community. Through that, I gained all my knowledge on 3D printing that just a few months prior, I didn't even know what a 3D, a 3D printer was. From there, I was able to help him with his research since I already knew how a 3D printer work and how to use them effectively, how to hack them to put more cool stuff in it. And honestly, I only heard of it because Ben gave a workshop about it in my university um, and I did not attend. I just remember that there were a workshop about it. Now, thousands of PhD students are out there in every single university. Each one of them is a potential opportunity that you could get if you can show them and convince them that you can contribute to their research. And you really don't need to be a genius to be an asset to them. I broke down this experience into step-by-step -step actionable items that you could take to get started on building up your luck and getting your paid internship. Step number one, identify research or projects you are interested in and find support through tutorials and communities to help you gain the knowledge you need to get started. Step number two, build something you can show others and share it on your blog, social media, or personal website. People need evidence of your work to evaluate if you could be an asset to them. 
For example, learning how to use a Raspberry Pi and then use it to control a pneumatic system for robotics. Step number three, find research group that you are interested in working for and believe you could potentially contribute your knowledge and skills gained from step number two. For example, a research group working on soft robotics hands capable of grabbing things of a different texture, or more generally, any research group working on robotics. Step number four, email the corresponding graduate students and professors. Make sure you write a brief introduction with skills you have and how you could potentially help them with their current research project. You only have a few seconds to hook them and it is important that you read their most recent research projects and mention them in your email. If you can, link them to your portfolio of projects. Step number five. Repeat step number four until you get an email reply and follow up. Even if you don't get it this year, you could potentially get an opportunity when the time is right. Occasionally, follow up and update them on the projects that you're working on that are potentially related to their research. This can show them that you are passionate about their research and want to eventually help. Honestly, this was my secret to getting all the opportunities that I've gotten so far in academia. You'll be surprised how few people actually do this. When I was a grad student at MIT, I only received a few emails from undergrad students from other universities and for those who did, I tried to offer them the opportunity to work with me on my project. Many graduate students want to get an extra set of hands to help them finish up their project faster, so don't be afraid to reach out. In the next video, I will talk about how I use the steps that I mentioned above to get my next internship in Germany at the Max Planck Institute. If you like this video, you can support me by giving this a thumbs up, subscribing to this channel, and sharing this with others. Please leave me your feedback in the comment section down below and feel free to ask any questions that you might have. I will reply to them and thank you so much for your time and I will see you in the next one.